Good afternoon, everybody. This is Karen Lee Harrington with the Maine Health Data Organization. And I want to welcome you to this webinar this afternoon to talk about the uh, transition of the Chapter 270 quality data to the new MHDO uh, submission portal. We have a number of folks that have registered uh, for this webinar. So I'm just going to, um, one quick housekeeping thing, if uh, people need to leave the call, if you could just please make sure we're on mute and not on hold, uh, that would be great. And this, um, recognizing that you're all extremely busy folks, we want to try and get this done in a half an hour. So I'm going to move through the introductions very quickly uh, because I'd like to spend the bulk of the time that we have with you talking about the substance of, uh, of this transition. So with that said, again, my name is Karen Lee Harrington. I work with the Maine Health Data Organization. And uh, with me and uh, co-presenters this afternoon will be Kim Wing, who I think many of you know. She's our compliance officer uh, here at the Maine Health Data Organization for all of the hospital data we collect, uh, including the hospital encounter data that comes in from different colleagues of yours uh, and the quality data. And Kim is going to um, uh, talk to you all towards the end of this uh, discussion. She'll open up the questions after the demo uh, of the portal and talk through additional resources um, and any kind of troubleshooting um, contacts that you uh, will want to have handy. And then Kate Mullins, who is one of our project leads who's been working with us for several years now. She's with our vendor Human Service Research Institute out of Cambridge, Mass. And Kate is going to walk us through the overview of the transition and review the registration and data submission steps and um, actually conduct the demo of the portal. So with that said, just quickly, um, we had laid out in the introductory email that we sent to you all the reason why we're doing this. So I'm not going to get into all the details other than to say that we've been working on improving um, all of our systems, our technology, our policies, everything from A to Z over the last four years. And it's a, about a six-year project, um, so we are closing in on that end date. You know, I think the reality is there will always be things that we can do better, um, but this effort was a full-blown um, agency-wide transformation. And when we're done, we will have a solid foundation from which we'll be able to continue to um, enhance and improve. So the transition of the Chapter 270 data into our hospital portal is the next step um, or the next uh, big issue on our work plan. So that is why we're all here today. We have spent years working on developing the portal uh, that hospitals that submit um, or all the hospitals that are submitting encounter data are already using and they've been using for uh, almost, I think, over a year now, maybe. Year. Um, and so that's the portal that you will all be uh, working with. Um, and there is a different um, section of the portal. So Kim and Kate will talk more about that. Uh, but we're leveraging that foundation um, that we've already um, developed. So just quickly, there are two phases to this transition. And what we're talking about today is phase one. And the goal of this phase is to improve the submission and tracking of data workbooks through our online portal. And you'll see a couple of key points, starting with your Q1 2017 data. You can load those files through the new portal, but if you would rather submit in the um, current fashion by sending an email to the MHCO, that is acceptable. But note, beginning with Q2 2017 data submissions, those need to come through the new portal. So if you've already submitted Q2, and I think there are a few of you that have, in the uh, old way, you need to um, resubmit uh, via the new portal. And then the second phase of the transition, which we're not going to spend a lot of time talking about today, but I just wanted to tee it up, is going to be a phase that the goal is more timely validations of the data submissions. So we're letting you know at the point you submit the data if there are any uh, questions or issues that we need to address and improved reporting capabilities. So one of the things that many of you have asked us for is the output 
input of all this data that comes in. And so we are going to be creating standardized reports with all of this data that you will be able to access right on our website. And so we'll talk more about that as we get ready for phase two. Um, the timing of phase two uh, is not going to um, occur. It, it won't impact you until I believe it's the first quarter of 2018 data, which you are under the rule required to submit in August uh, of 2018. So we've got some time. There'll be um, another uh, discussion on that uh, as we get closer. But again, just wanted to give you a heads up that that is um, on the work plan and coming. So again, in the spirit of uh, lots to say and not a whole lot of time, I'm going to turn it over to Kate Mullins with HSRI, who will walk us through the next uh, couple of uh, slides. Great. Thank you, Karen Lee. Hello, everyone. Um, as Karen Lee said, I'm just going to walk through some information that will be familiar to those of you who have already gone through some of these steps. Um, and hopefully will be useful to those of you who have not. Um, I'm going to first just talk about the registration steps for getting set up as users in the portal and then review some information about how you'll actually be submitting those workbooks through the new portal. So first off is um, just displayed here on the slide is the URL for accessing the hospital data portal. And as Karen Lee mentioned, this is a portal that was built um, about a year ago where uh, many of your colleagues submit um, additional data streams to the MHDO for their encounter data. So we're utilizing that portal um, to transition the submission of these quality data workbooks through the portal. The first step is um, creating um, user accounts for the portal. Um, and I know many of you have, have been through this. We've seen a lot of good activity over the last week. So thank you for, for your timely um, action on all of that. Um, in order to register a new account, you'll go to the link that I showed you in the previous screen. There's a, um, a link at the bottom of the page that indicates, you know, register a new account. Once you click on that, you're going to be brought through a series of questions. Um, and the first of those questions is a drop-down list where you're going to select the appropriate hospital that you're affiliated with. You're going to then enter some contact details for yourself and choose a username and password for your account. The next step is to indicate what type of data submitter you are. And this is pretty crucial. And as, I, as we just said, there, um, this portal is used for the submission of two types of data currently. Um, so you need to select that you are a quality data submitter. Um, this could mean that you um, submit either or, or both of the two types of quality data, but again, this is an important um, item to check as you go through these registration steps. Once you do that, um, you'll get a page that's showing here that indicates that your registration is complete. Your account must be approved by MHDO before you can log in. Once it has been approved, you will receive an email notification letting you know that you can now go and log in with the username and password that you selected. Now I'm going to go over some information about actually submitting the data files. As you're all familiar with, there, there is a file naming convention that is used. And the new online portal um, is going to validate that you are using or following that naming convention upon submission. So here I've just outlined the requirements. This is also specified in the user manual document and published within the portal for easy reference. So improperly named files will not be accepted through the portal. The dashes are necessary and we do not want any spaces within the file name. So I'm going to walk through this in a, um, a, lot, uh, a live demonstration as well, but first just review the, the submission steps. 
the first step once you've logged in is to navigate the data quality page link on the left hand side um, of the page. You'll then click submit a, a submit new button. You'll select the file that you want to use to upload. Click upload and then you will get a success or failure message indicating whether the transmission of the file was successful or not. The system is designed to recognize resubmissions of files with the same name. When doing so, you'll be prompted to provide an explanation for the resubmission. So here we want you to provide some um, context for the need for resubmission. Um, it could be something happened on your end where you feel like you need to make a correction and resubmit, or it could be that you know, you've um, submitted a file, received some feedback um, about potential issues from the MHCO, and they have asked you to resubmit. Um, so again, we're just looking for some, some context here in any resubmission. And this, this information will be stored as metadata and used um, as we work with your data. So after successful submission of your file, you'll see a message and a link to go back to the listing of your submissions. And that listing will indicate the status of each of those files. In addition to being able to click on the link here um, that brings you back to that, you'll, you'll have the option of using your, um, your browser back button as well throughout the, the portal. So this is a, a, a example of what that um, quality data screen will look like. There will be a table with a listing of all the files that have been transmitted. Which you could then filter by file type or status. You can also download a um, Mixel version of this table. So now I'm going to switch over to a live um, portal demo um, where I can just show you a few examples um, and scenarios of data submission. I'm going to log in with my test account. So now I'm logged into the portal, um, and as we reviewed, I'm going to next go to this link called Quality Data under here. And here, this is my test um, account name. This is where your hospital name will appear. So as in the example that I showed um, in this slide, we have one file listed here. So I'm going to go ahead and I want to submit some additional files. I'm going to click the Submit New button. I'm going to browse for my file. I'm going to select this one that has a V2 on the end. And here you can see I get a uh, notification immediately letting me know that the file name is invalid because of um, I added some additional fields at the end there. Now I'm going to go back and say, all right, that's not the right file. I need to, to select this one that's properly named. And now, as we discussed earlier, it's saying that I've chosen a file that has already been submitted and I need to provide an explanation for why I'm submitting it. So I provide an explanation and now it says that I'm ready to go and I can hit the upload button. And then I get another message letting me know that my submission has succeeded. In order to go back and view that uh, submission, I can go click here on the data quality page. I can use my back browser. And now it says that the file that was previously, previously showing is gone because I've resubmitted a new one. And here it's listing the reason that I provided for that resubmission. Now I'm going to go grab one more file, an MSI file, <laughs> to show you. This is a, a 
brand new file for this period. Uh, it's properly deemed. There are no issues. So I'm good to go. I hit upload, receive my confirmation, confirmation message, and I can just go back to my history here and double check that my file is showing up here. And as I mentioned, if you'd like, um, if you want to share this type of information with somebody who maybe doesn't have an account to log in through the portal, you can download this information into an Excel workbook so you can share this information with others. And one thing I just want to point out is um, right now we have some resources here on the left. Um, as I mentioned earlier, there's a file naming um, guide within the portal for easy reference. We will be placing some additional resources here, like today's um, webinar slides, and the user manual that we had provided um, last week. Um, and additionally, there is a button here for contact information for our help desk which is a resource you can continue to use throughout this process. Um, and then just if you do want to log out of the portal, up here on the top right-hand corner, there is a button to log out. Additionally, if you are having issues logging in where you can't remember your password, um, there is another feature here called Recover an Existing Account. Here you'll be prompted to provide the email address that you registered with um, and hit Recover, and then you'll receive um, instructions via email about how to log in. All right, I'm going to switch back over to some slides for us to cover some additional information. <laughs> so here we're, we've just listed um, the, the hospital, the MHDO website resource um, for the hospital quality data information. This will, include, in addition to posting some of this information in the portal, there are, we will be posting um, some of these resources up on the MHDO website as well. Now I'm going to turn it back over to Kim um, to walk through a few more slides. Okay. Thanks, Kate. Uh, great job with the demo and, and all the information. Um, welcome, everybody. I just wanted to uh, cover uh, a few issues. Um, First of all, uh, just reiterating again, uh, if you have not sent in your Q1 2017 data, you have the choice. You can either uh, use the portal, give it a try, uh, or if you just don't have time, uh, if you're nervous with such a short time frame, uh, feel free to just email it as you usually do. Uh, the transmittal workbook that you use uh, right now I'm sorry, Kim. We're I'm having trouble hearing you. I'm hearing some background noise from um, another line. If uh, folks could just ensure that their line is muted, that would be great. We're getting a lot of. Um, there we go. I think it's been fixed. Uh, so I was just stating you can uh, either submit your Q1 data to me via email, or you can try the portal. Um, I wanted to also let you know in the past you've received an email from me stating um, thank you for your submissions and it has been received um, for Q2. Uh, if you are submitting Q1 or Q2 uh, through the portal, that receipt will actually be via the portal when you see that your data is there and has been successfully submitted. There will no longer be those emails. So there's one left for your email. Um, 
And again, uh, if you have uh, questions regarding how to complete the forms, um, technical questions, um, not so much with uh, the hospital, with technical questions computer-wise, but the usual, like, what to use for denominators, how to do some of the surveys, et cetera, you can contact me, and we'll get back to you on that. But if you have technical questions in the middle with the computer, you can contact the help desk um, via that email address. And I think that's it. Uh, I did want to touch upon the fact that I have received um, five hospitals Q2 data uh, transmittal workbooks already. Um, if you could go ahead and submit those in the portal, um, that would be great. If you have any problems um, for some reason that you can't find those, um, just give me a, a call or email me. And from here, uh, we'll open it up for the Q&A portion. So thanks. Tim and Kate, and I know there are lots of folks on the line, so this may be a little challenging um, because everybody's phones are live, but uh, we certainly uh, have time for questions that uh, folks might have. Hi, this is Kelly from Penn Bay. Hi, Kelly. Um, there was a lot of feedback right around when Kim was talking about whether the current form we have is the one we can use or not. I just wanted to clarify, we're still using the same template? Yes, the templates are the same. I, um, we did put up some new ones, but the only difference is that instead of a link for the email address, there is a link for the URL uh, to Excellent. go to the portal. But the, um, the actual forms themselves are all the same. Great, thank you. You're welcome. Anybody else? Well, while people are maybe thinking about a question, I just want to say a couple of things. Again, this is Karen Lane. One, I want to thank all of you for taking time out of your busy schedules to join us for this call. I was um, so excited when uh, we saw that over 30 people had registered, especially um, in August on such short notice. Um, it, we're very thankful that you um, took the time to participate in this discussion, so thank you. Uh, we want ultimately all of this, um, all of the work that we've been doing and the um, the asks that we've made of our customers, and we consider you all to be customers, um, are, are we understand that you know you have a lot of other priorities and change is difficult, but we really do believe ultimately this is going to be a much more efficient um, process going forward. So we recognize it's painful in the beginning, so we want to make sure that we provide um, the resources, as, as Kim said, to assist you through this transition, um, and we're really looking forward to. Uh, coming back to you all um, early next year as we talk about uh, phase two. But in the meantime, again, we are here to help you in the transition uh, to submitting your data yeah. and appreciate all of uh, your support as we, as we go through this change. So with that, I know we're running out of time. I'll, I'll ask again if any last questions that anybody wants to raise. Okay. Um, again, thanks everybody. And if you do have issues or questions, please don't hesitate to uh, reach out to the help desk, uh, to Kim or to myself directly. Have a great rest of the day. Thank you.